And next, let's please welcome a competitor widely regarded as the best to ever step between the ropes, undefeated in 50 professional bouts, a multiple world champion of multiple weights, an entrepreneur, an entertainer. Let's welcome the icon that is Floyd Money Mayweather.
want to talk about the magnitude of this event. I know the, there are so yes. many streaming partners. Uh, this is going to be huge. You know, we've got yes. Fight Time Metaverse. We've got a whole number of other sponsors. So I want to make sure that we, you know, I touch on certain things so everyone knows how they can watch the fight if you don't fly over to Dubai. So I need you guys to go check out sports.gg. Is that, is that correct? Okay. Um, so we got metaversefighttime.com, so you can check it out there. Um, watch it on demand at, your, at different cable operators. So I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm touching all the key points. But of course, I want everybody that's in the UK that can make it over. Come have fun. Come enjoy entertainment. You got um, Tommy Fury. Um, he's making a lot of noise. You got so many uh, great fighters that's on this card that's going to go out there and display their talent. And like I said before, I'm proud of all these guys. And I'm, and I'm really, really proud of everybody that's been working on this event behind the scenes. Woo! And of course, folks, the absolute team behind the scenes here. Uh, there's some really nice NFTs in, in on the sports app, Sports GG, so certainly go and, and check that out. But Flo, let's turn our attention to this yes. fight. Let's turn our attention. We've done to everyone. Yes. You, uh, you got a fight, my friend. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't really have to worry about it. I'm just saying, talk about what I can do. The world knows what I can do. Um, and I've done this for, as a professional, 26 years. I had my first actual fight in 1987. So, um... It's just that I do, I do what I do, you know, um, as a professional, as a top professional at the pinnacle. I've been in the biggest fights you could possibly be in. I broke all records in the sport of boxing. Not bragging or boasting, just speaking true facts. Um, another another um, great fighter that I was able to clash with, that I want to take my hat off to, to say he was a warrior. Of course, Ricky the Hitman Hatton. To become, to become great, you must face great oppositions. And Ricky Hatton was a tough competitor. And just November 13th, um, I'm going to go out there and just have fun. I've been here so many times. It's just another day. And talk about to be great, you're going to face greatness. So, Deji, with that in mind, you and Floyd are at very different ends of your boxing career, shall we say. You're stepping in there with the man who's regarded widely as the best to ever do it, the greatest. What do you want to get out of November 13th with a view on your career moving forward? Well, like what Floyd said, you have to step in with greatness to become great. That's very true. I mean, me being there with Floyd is just only going to enhance my skills in boxing. So, yeah, it's just going to further push me up the ladder in boxing and, yeah, I'm just keep dominating the YouTube boxing scene after this. I mean, Floyd is, Floyd's taking his all in the stride, he's been here before. Um, this is probably being considered as, as a walk in the park for you, Floyd. So, Deji, do you think there's any chance, any chance? Well, well I, I can say no. I'm putting words in the One thing about me, we, we, we never overlook anyone. You know, um, he want to go out and display his skills. Have I ever seen a fight? Absolutely not. But you can never overlook, you can never overlook anyone. You know, throughout my career, I never uh, will watch tapes on my opponents. I just go out there and, and do what I do. It's not, and I'm not overlooking them. I want them to come out, fight, entertain, have fun, laugh, and get the people what they want to see excitement. But as far as myself, if Ricky Hatton, Manny Pacquiao, Canelo, Oscar De La and the list goes on and on. So, you know, you know, in, in the sport of boxing, you know, I think one of the great things about my career is that um, the, the first thing my dad ever taught me, the less you get, the longer you last. So, you know, just being able to keep all my faculties, you know, with my, you know, with my career being over retirement, making smart investments, um, connecting with the right people, and building generational wealth. That's what's important to me. And um, that's what I will continue to do. Um, but November 13th, Floyd Mayweather, having fun, living life, and giving people what they want to see excitement. Yeah, 
When we were in Las Vegas, you talked about taking the, the temperature of an opponent. <laughs> yes. seeing, what, seeing what kind of you know, warmth they're bringing you away, you reacting accordingly. Well, what's so, what's so great about this fight is we're able to come together and then actually, you know, Ken from Front Row as well as, well as Global Titans, he spoke to me and we, we I, I don't know, I, I don't, what is February? February, we look forward to coming here and putting on an exhibition for the fans in the UK. Because I never had a chance to come over here and, and actually fight when I was active, actively fighting. So hopefully in February, we'll come over here and do an exhibition if it's possible. Wow. Andy, can I say something? Andy, let me say something. Andy, you're going to have to be honest. I think we, what we really want to see is Pretty Boy Anthony Taylor versus Money Floyd Mayweather. And that's the fight. Personality and personality. I'm the most qualified fighter to be fighting Floyd Mayweather in the exhibition. I fought on Showtime, some of the biggest fights y'all ever seen on pay-per-view. I deserve a fight Floyd. He already said he's never seen Danny. I'm the fucking Pretty Boy, baby. Well, 
listen, we, we, we're not here to knock him. But, you know, the, the great thing about my career is I always tell people this. You know, um, looks don't pay bills. So, I say my bank account is very pretty. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but good luck to both competitors. You know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, we got Deji right here. You know. I want you guys, I want you guys to root Deji on, push him. You know, I know he's going to come out. You know, I can just tell, just looking at him, he's animal. So, you know, I, you know, I'll be ready in the 13th. So Deji, let, let's let's come to you. Let's let's focus on Deji for a moment. There's been a lot of back and forth for all these other fighters. Look, we talk about the temperature. We talk about the the heat that you know Floyd has felt out of the opponents and reacted accordingly. After that initial press conference, there was such an outpouring of positivity for you across the board. But there were a few comments saying perhaps Deji's being too nice. That he's being nice because he doesn't want to doesn't want to bring out the, the anger in Floyd, the risk getting knocked out. Is there any truth? Deji, Deji, don't don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Never listen. It's okay to be a gentleman on the outside and be a killer in the inside. It's okay. It's okay. We we, we can carry ourselves like gentlemen out here. We don't have to, I don't have to say what, what I'm going to do. Just like, you know, um, you know, one time I came here, I done a press conference with, um, you know, it, it's different with different opponents. You know, me and Conor McGregor, we had a ball. We had a ball. Um, me and Pacquiao was kind of just, like me and you, kind of relaxed, cool. So I always check the temperature. You seem like a pretty cool guy. And your brother, he's a pretty cool guy. And I want you guys to continue to uh, build your following on your social media platforms. You guys are doing a hell of a job. Thank you so much for it. Now, Deji, let, let's talk about how you see this fight going. Like, you know, I know that you just sat there at night dreaming of, of landing that punch and you know, what could happen. I know that's gone through your mind. How do you see this fight playing out in November 13th? Realistically, I'm just coming to have fun because this is an amazing opportunity. I mean, to go toe to toe with the best fighter in the world. It's a, it's a dream come true. People would die to have a fight with Floyd. And I, I beat Fuzzy and I'm now fighting Floyd. So, it's amazing. I mean, how you want to test yourself. You want to show the world your skills and you want to, you want to see the reaction you get from one of the greatest ever. But are you scared of perhaps pushing it too much and what will happen if Floyd does connect and, and you get laid out? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Let me ask today. Remember this. All, of, all the cars are stacked against you anyway. But... but, you, but listen, all the cars are stacked against you. But we gotta take your hat off just for asking for the fight, just for accepting this. You got, you, you win it just by doing that alone. So, I'm gonna let you be the tough guy. I'm gonna sit back and take it easy. <laughs> but is that enough for you? Yes, yes, look, 100%, you should be, anyone should be admired and respected for just stepping in the ring with anyone, let alone someone like Floyd Mayweather. But is that respect enough for you? Do you want more? from this fight? Alright, first things first, let's be honest. We fight Floyd in itself as a W. Yes? yes. So, I wanted to showcase my skills. I'm not afraid of uh, what's to come. That's the, that's the poor, like, that's the wrong mindset to have in any fight. If you're scared of getting knocked out, you shouldn't be fighting. So, yeah. And what can your fans expect? We've all followed your boxing journey with the highs, the lows, and then of course your last fight, a real almost coming out party for your skills. You're working with Daily now, you've been working with him for quite some time. What can we expect from you in terms of your performance coming to November 13th? I'll let Daily talk. Um, for, 
first off, I just want to say to Floyd, I've watched you my whole life, man, so congratulations on the legendary career. <laughs> I, I come from a boxing family. Uh, my brothers were professionals. I used to fight. My career got shot, cut short. And I said to myself, if I'm going to be a professional boxing trainer, I'm going to do it to be one of the best in the game. So I've surrounded Deji with my pro fighters so he understands what it takes. Um, this is a serious sport. You can die in this sport. People don't understand the things that go into it. So I want him to be competitive. I don't want him to go out there and just only have fun. I want him to display what we do in the gym. He's been showing it in the gym. And um, hope he, he's, he's been, today actually he sparred and, and, and I, I was blown away. He's really coming on uh, as a fighter. And as I said, it's about just surrounding him around the right people, around our pro fighters, so he can show people that he's serious and um, not go out there to make himself look like a clown. So with my kids, I don't even let my kids win in bowling if we go and do any sports. I'm a competitive guy, man. So it's Floyd Mayweather. I've watched him my whole life. I respect this guy. But every beginner, every, every, every professional was once a beginner. So he's come from hardships. Floyd Mayweather, I know that. I've come from hardships. Deji's come from hardships. Let's go out there and put on the show, man. Absolutely, November 13th in Dubai Live. Days before I open up to the press, I've got one last question for you. You said that you you love to land at least a blow on Floyd. Do you think you can do it? Yes or no? Can you land a punch on Floyd maybe on November 13th? If I say no, then I shouldn't be fighting Floyd, should I? So I believe it's possible, but we'll, we'll have to see November, November 13th. I'm taking that as a, as a yes. He will land a punch. I don't know which one as well. We got some questions from the press. Let me just welcome up Paul Bamba. Where's Paul? Oh, where's, there's Paul. Hi, Paul. Hey, flight. Um, look, I'm going to open up to the press real quick before we do some face to faces. Any members in the press want to ask any questions real quick? We've got a couple of moments. Anyone down there? Oh, Gareth, yes. It's great to see you here in the UK. Um, I had the privilege of covering almost all of your career. You talked about some of the great names you fought. When you were coming to the end of what I would say was your real boxing career, and these are now exhibitions, do you ever think about the fact that Deji's got 10 million followers, the other guys you, f you fight or have exhibitions about with have millions and millions of followers. You talk about your own gener generational wealth and your own personal achievements, but aren't you spreading the gospel of boxing as well to the next generation, helping to spread that gospel? So many lives get changed. We were talking about it earlier with Deji, that he has 10 million followers. If 5% follow and just go to the gym, they can change their lives. Well, um, well you know, I have so many fighters, I mean, just because it may not be under the Mayweather name, I work with the so many fighters. And we give back to so many fighters. And actually, we travel around the world just giving just knowledge, you know, giving knowledge back um, on the sport of boxing. Um, you know what's so crazy about a lot of these fighters' career? You know, um, they live for the moment, meaning that they want, they want the crowd to scream and go crazy at that particular moment. They don't think about 20 years from now, 30 years from now. So um, defense was very, very important to me. And saving your money was very, very important to me. So um, those are 
two of the most key things, saving your money and defense. You know, um, who, who's ever watching, that's the all fighters. Defense and saving your money is very important. Thank you, Dan. Uh, now, Paul, can we give Paul Rambo just a moment to talk to you? He's just arrived here. Uh, Paul, welcome to the UK. 